Hello, welcome to the domestic teacher. Okay, so today we are going to be making, um, shoot, what are we making again? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be making a chicken and dumplings, me and my boyfriend. Um, so right now we have about five and a quarter pounds of bone in chicken thighs. We're going to be making our own broth. It's in 16 cups of water. And we're going to boil it for about 40, 45 minutes. Right now we have the timer. We just put it in. And what you're going to want to do is put in about five stalks of celery cut up about a quarter inch. And then you're going to also get these little bouillon, I don't know how to pronounce it, bouillon cubes, chicken flavor. You put three in. And then... Um, how much onion are we putting in? A whole onion. Oh, okay. We're going to put in a whole yellow onion. So, one of these I already started and kind of ruined it a little bit. Yes. And then, um, we're going to figure out how many carrots we need soon. But, we'll get to the rest of the stuff Bye. shortly. Oh, that's my munchkin saying mommy. <laughs> All right, so I chopped up the whole onion, and you chop it up really small. And there's my puppy. Hi, Ryder. Okay, so, and over here, you're going to cut up maybe about, like, a cup and a half of carrots. They don't have to be this crinkle kind. You can use the little baby carrots. I just chose these because they were cheaper. And you shove everything in the pot over here. And let it boil with the chicken, and everything's gonna taste amazing. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> you know, everything I cook is amazing. All right, right now we're adding in salt, pepper, and garlic. Um, I'm gonna say about two teaspoons of salt went in. Well, at least it didn't get all over the floor. Whoa. And we love our pepper. Ooh, yes. That looks good. So yeah, I'm gonna say about two teaspoons of each. Well, maybe there was about two tablespoons of the garlic. And, stir it. and then you stir it, yes. We're down to 25 minutes. Yeah. We want white and dark meat in the chicken and dumplings. It gives it more flavor. Mm-hmm. And that's why we're choosing Turning to boil. Down. We don't need it that high. Yeah. We need a low boil simmer, and I've got it up too high. Just to make sure that everything was cooked, we actually had it in for about 50 minutes instead of 40. And then you take the chicken out, and what you're going to do is you're going to take off the skin. We're going to be taking it off and letting our lovely little dogs eat it. Once you take the skin off, you're going to just basically break apart all the chicken meat and put it back in the pot. You're peeling right off, that's what you want. Mm-hmm. Peeling right off, not hard at all. This is our other little one. Say hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. She's waiting. And look, he's right there too. He's waiting. Still hot. Yeah, a bit. Well, you just took it out of the pot. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and steamy looking. Look, you got white and dark meat. Mm-hmm. Mm.
basically you're just going to pull it apart kind of this pulling apart really easy too mm -hmm. there's a bone we don't want that yep you got to toss out the bones and our garbage can is actually in a drawer isn't that cool All right, so we're going to finish up this. All right, so now that all the chicken is shredded, we are going to put it back in the pot and also add a can of... Cream of chicken, cream of celery, or cream of something else. Cream of mushroom? I don't know, we use cream of chicken. But as you see, everything in there is nice and yellow. Yeah, that's the broth. Yep. We didn't put any broth in here. We made this broth. We don't empty it out. You use every little bit of... There we go. Thanks for the light. Yep. Every little bit of like liquid see that we put in there. it looks a lot better brothy. Mm-hmm. See, previously I have been making this with like <laughs> pre-made yeah pre-made well i've used organic broth but um this is the way his mom makes it so we're both kind of doing this it's not just you only want to use uh chicken thighs yes you he told me about this and i wanted to tell you guys you use chicken thighs bone-in chicken thighs um if you use wings it might not be as good. Well, because the bottom thighs has better, it's got more chick uh, light and dark meat. Mm hmm. And that what makes the flavors like really pop. I'm gonna probably go ahead and get the dumplings out. Okay. Next time we do it, I'm gonna make dumplings out. <laughs> yeah, um. I don't make homemade dumplings. I actually prefer these. Annie's. Because these videos are for, you know, busy moms and dads who don't have a whole ton of time to make dumplings themselves. He just added maybe Less than a cup of water. To get the remaining I need to get yeah. back hot, And that can was a, what, about 10 ounces or so of cream of chicken. Well, in any case, um, it's just easier to also use these instead of make your own. If you want to make your own, you can look up recipes and put them in there, but I think these are fantastic. You keep them frozen until you're ready to use them. All right, so what you do is you put the temperature up. We have it on six. And what he did was put about a tablespoon of parsley in and um, a little bit more salt and pepper. It's okay, it's just condensation. Look how yellow it is. It looks fantastic. Okay, so now he's putting in the dumplings. Quarter inch, or a, it said one inch, half inch. You can do whatever you want. Mm hmm. They come in like um, three rectangles, and what he does is he breaks them up. Just so you know, I also added More. about a tablespoon of basil and a teaspoon of oregano and a little bit more parsley. 
Yeah, but if you just, want it, if you want it to turn out better, use more fresh. Use the uh, fresh ingredients instead of the. Yeah, we kind of just did the lazy way and just used whatever was in the cupboard. But fresh ingredients, it's gonna be a whole lot better. When you're breaking these up, make sure to put them in like kind of one by one in the pot because you don't want them sticking together. Yeah, they'll cook, they'll cook like that, all together, make them thicker. Mm hmm. And then you'll just have big blobs of dough, dough. <laughs> which is not very tasty. And about how long on the stove do you think that they should cook? Shrugging. <laughs> all right. Once you have it all in there, just put the cover on and let it cook for about eight to 12 minutes. Let it thicken up. And later on, we're gonna see how thick it is. If it's not thick enough, we might use a little bit of cornstarch. It's expensive, but it really helps. If you don't have cornstarch, you can use flour, that also helps. Every couple of minutes, you're gonna to wanna to stir it up because the dumplings in there, those suckers like to stick to the bottom. All right, we are down to two minutes. If you start to notice that it's like over boiling, you can reduce the heat. We reduced it a little bit. And we noticed that it's not really thickening up. I think we used um, just a little bit too much water in the beginning, so If you haven't already done it, I would suggest um, minusing about two cups of water. We have our cornstarch ready. So right now he is mixing up about four teaspoons of cornstarch and some water. Warm water. Yep, warm water. Alright, we're going to give that a few minutes and let it thicken up. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm, that looks good. It's going to be more like a damn chicken burger. Chicken soup. <laughs> well, honestly, um, if I were going to do chicken soup, I would just swap out the dumplings and just put like egg noodles in it. That's basically all you have to do. And minus the cornstarch, of course. Delicious. Alright, we are all finished. After putting the cornstarch in, um, I think we let it cook for maybe about like seven more minutes. But this looks absolutely delicious. To spice it up a little bit, we put in just like a little dash of cracked red pepper. Now it's up to you. You can taste it now and see what else you want in it. If it doesn't taste garlicky enough or peppery enough, go ahead and put some more in. Everybody has like different tastes, so 
you might want a little bit or you might want a lot but we love lots of pepper and my assistant does the dishes all right well thank you for joining and i hope you enjoy oh yes we got cookies going too but anyway see you next time um I think, what, the night after next, we're going to be making some cube steak. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy.